Yo, 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 on today's episode of Lego My James, we're going to be talking about what's better, Lego Pick a Brick or Bricklink. Newsflash, it's Bricklink, and there are several reasons why, and I'm going to tell you about them right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. All right, first of all, let's look at Lego Pick a Brick. Lego Pick a Brick is amazing. You can actually go to Lego stores, you see a wall of parts, and you're like, ah, and you could just grab a bucket and fill it with anything they have. That's pretty sweet. However, you are limited to the number of parts that are there. You could just tell by any photo of a wall at any Lego store, they will only have a unique amount of parts for however many number of bins they have and that bins they eventually stop at a certain height and the rest is just inventory storage all right moving forward so you can get a lot of parts there and that is usually a very cheap price or one of the best bangs for your buck because you can really fit a bunch of bricks down into the cups you can stack them you know fill other studs and other parts within all the cracks and so forth you could fit a lot in any of those cups and it's a great price Looking at Lego Pick a Brick online, however, you do get a larger variety of parts than you see in any Lego store because Pick a Brick walls only have so many bins to fill up. However, with the Lego Pick a Brick, you can actually purchase parts in all sorts of areas and in a much greater variety than you could from the Lego Pick a Brick area. However, these parts you're paying per piece, which gets quite expensive. You know, if you want a hundred of a part at 20 cents, that's $20, where you might be able to fit 20 of those or a hundred of those parts into the same Pick a Brick bucket for $15 or $16 and plus put a bunch of other parts in with it. Although that's great that you can fit maybe all those parts into one pick a brick bucket, the likelihood that you go to a Lego store and they have that particular part you want in stock is limited. You know, you might not oftentimes get that. Occasionally you'll go and you'll be like, wow, they have the part I want. Perfect. But that's not usually the case. And Lego prices on their actual website per part are the top price you're usually going to pay for a part. Pick a Brick does offer a lot of parts online. However, occasionally parts when they're out of stock are no longer available. You might want two by two dark gray tiles and they're not there because Lego is currently out of them and they're waiting on more. Another drawback of this is you're also waiting on lead time. If you're ordering parts, it might take 30 days or 40 days. Usually, hopefully maybe you can get it in a week or two, but usually it's taking 20 plus days to get a order of parts in. So it does take time. It is cool though, they do sell parts on there that are usually found in new sets. And I didn't know that they actually sell Lego train track on there. If you saw my train video that exploded, I then realized from all the comments that people told me, hey, it's on Pick a Brick, it's on Pick a Brick. And I was like, there's no way it's on Pick a Brick. These people are punking me, they're messing with me. And then lo and behold, one day, about a couple weeks ago, the track parts were finally there. And after weeks, months of just craziness, I then realized, the track parts are sold on pick a brick. However, when they go out of stock, they're no longer there. Sad face. <laughs> oh, well, all in all, what I have to say about Lego pick a brick is that it is amazing. You can buy a lot of parts on there. However, I do think it's more equipped for people that are building large mocks or a city build. If you're building something large, yes, you can order all the parts from Lego. They're brand new. They look great and you can build whatever you want. It will cost you more money, however. And now let's get into Bricklink and I'll tell you why it is the best. Bricklink, for starters, you can buy any Lego part in the world that has ever existed, if it's in stock at least. I mean, you might not find the gold C-3PO out available, whatever, but you can find any parts that exist in Lego sets throughout all the years. So if you're looking for parts that are to a set, sticker parts, or hey, I'm missing an old gray part for this train set, then you can find that on Bricklink and you can purchase it there where you can't find specialty parts or older parts on Lego Pick-A-Brick. It's just not possible. They only sell new parts through lego.com on their pick a brick section. That is why Bricklink's amazing. Number two, Bricklink, you'll see lower prices for a lot of parts than the price that is on the Lego pick a brick website. Now, granted, some prices might be a little higher, but most of the time these prices are lower than Lego's prices. And that is because people are taking sets and parting them out. That, that drastically reduces cost. And there are also people that are putting parts on sale because they want to clear their inventory. I mean, I've sold curved track pieces for 30 some cents and lego.com charges a buck something for them. That's just one example of a part that has a drastic difference, but most of them you'll see, okay, if this part on lego.com is 30 cents, you can probably find it on Bricklink for 25 cents. If you are looking for drastic quantities of a part, sometimes Lego is the better choice. It will be more expensive, but you're guaranteed that, hey, if I want a thousand of this piece, I can get a thousand. Where on Bricklink, you might find stores that have those high quantities, it might cost equivalently to what Lego would. However, oftentimes if you're looking to order, you know, a couple specialty figures and 20 or a, a couple hundred of a certain part, then you'll probably have to shop through two separate stores. However, at the end of the day, it's usually cheaper and your parts get there faster. And the third reason is that Pick a Brick has a much longer lead time.
Usually these orders might take up to four weeks or five weeks until they get to your door, depending on where you live. I'm in the US and I have ordered parts from Pick a Brick before. I've had orders come in as early as maybe two and a half weeks of time from order placement, but most of them they do take about four weeks or more. If time doesn't really matter for your build, then ordering from Lego is great. If time does matter, BrickLink is where, again, they come in at number one because you can order from stores and most stores are trying to send out orders two to three days after you've purchased from them. At least me, when I sell on BrickLink, I know if somebody places an order, I really try and get it out, out the door to that customer within two to three days. I try for even one sometimes, okay, if I have a bunch of orders, some people get lucky and I send their order out right away. But usually within three days, that order is in the mail and then it takes another couple of days until it's in the customer's hands. Faster time. All in all, if you're looking to recreate sets or build small mocks or, you know, work on your collection, ordering from BrickLink makes more sense. But if you have more money and you want the really nice new parts and you want a large quantity of parts and you're okay using the brand new parts or newer variations and common pieces, order from Lego. The one last thing that is nice about the Lego Pick a Brick is the VIP rewards. If you're purchasing from Lego, the prices may be a little bit higher, but if you're also getting VIP points from each order, then you could spend those on either money off on other Lego sets or just different uh, rewards that they have in the reward center. Those are pretty much all the reasons I have. I do think BrickLink is better in terms of price, variety, and speed of orders. However, let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to see more Lego content. And if you want to see a very fun Lego video about giant Lego bricks, check out this video. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon. Lego, my James-o.